here my name is Vizzy welcome to the channel so this adventure we're checking out the Currituck Banks Preserve here in the Outer Banks in North Carolina Let's see what this is about now this is a boardwalk um, and it's a loop trail about a mile and a half long uh, this is a maritime forest so it's shaped by uh, the wind the salt the spray from the sea Now these trees that you see there, those are a live oak. Um, this is pine here, but predominantly a lot of the trees you'll see around here is this live oak and it stays green year round regardless of the season. Now there is a gate at the front because of wild horses. This area here, Corala, um, it's known for its wild horses sometimes can find them we'll see if in one of these adventures I can find one or a herd of them which would be cool okay 0.75 of a mile and in a marsh habit along the Kurtzuk Sound round trip is one and a half miles. It takes approximately one hour following the blue trail post to protect natural features. Please stay on the trail and do not pick vegetations. Beware of ticks, chiggers, snakes, mosquitoes, or wet area. Cool. I like uh, snakes. Let's look for some. Now, sugars, if you guys are not familiar with them, um, they have them a lot in down south, and these little things itch like crazy if you get them um, they like to be in crevices and small areas um, but yeah they they bite they suck <laughs> it's like a flea almost for humans it's just it just I've never gotten it but I've seen people that have gotten it yeah it's not fun at all I like how they mark their trails here. They're slightly different. Most of the time you see blue blazes on like trees or stuff like that. But here they have actual physical posts to ensure you do not get lost. I'm guessing that's wild horse there. It's just a pile of manure. You can definitely tell the ocean spray gets this far because you just, I can hear it. I'm not even, I don't even know how far it is. I mean, the loop is, or half the loop is uh, three quarters of a mile, but I could hear the ocean or the waves, the water just in the distance. But this is just beautiful, just how these trees, these live oaks just grow in all these different shapes and forms it's cool love it and then you have beauties like that sometimes it's just good to just stand and listen see how many different animals you can listen or spot The forest is alive. <laughs> I believe this is my first time in a maritime forest. Been in quite a few forests. Never a maritime one though. Now these trees, the live oaks, they call them live because obviously they're live year round. They don't shed their leaves. They also have this waxy like tuck they've cut up around them you can see it but it's a bit shiny that helps them uh, not lose moisture too and protect themselves from the elements the moss that also helps that's why they uh, these and pine here are more predominant things here because they're the strongest ones that could survive 
in this area. Oh wow, look at this tree. I mean, it sucks that it's dead, but you could see how much bark it has compared to the live inside of it. That's why it has so much good protection, because this thick bark helps it from fires, helps it from some bugs, not all, things like that. Look at this canopy. This is like perfect for protection for horses and stuff like that. And then, of course, the oaks that these trees release, I'm pretty sure they're not the only ones eating them. distance there see the bay Kurtuk Bay if I'm not mistaken so we're closer to the water you start seeing ferns and different types of vegetation it's like right around the corner it just completely changed I like how they took their time to just build this boardwalk so you can see to the corner it's more cuts than here just to get that little bit of detail in the corner they probably didn't think we would appreciate it but i appreciate it <laughs> so this is an estuary where fresh and salt water meet this is a sound. Oregon Inlet, if I'm not mistaken, starts in Virginia and comes all the way up to Currituck Sound here. There's all fresh water coming in and the salt water from the Atlantic through the inlet. Wow. So that later area in between there, that's wetland. Further in a swamp. Courtney, you taking video? Yeah. Cause um, I'll be able to tell you later if it has um, the labial lines on their lower jaw, then it's a water snake, but it's definitely not a cotton mouth but it could be something. He's beautiful. Look at his colors. Hell no! 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 I refuse! No! No! Heading back out. Hopefully you enjoyed that adventure. If you did, like, comment, share, subscribing. Catch you on the next one.